Hello friends, Hope you're well. Techman Pat here. Welcome. Today we're going to unbox this Roborock H6 Adapt handheld vacuum cleaner. And this is the first time I'm checking out a handheld vacuum cleaner. I'm actually pretty excited. I do all sorts of techs on this channel. So, you know, I was like, well, what is this? It's technology. It's getting better and better. Let's see. <laughs> Hello, Vala. Let's see what Roborock has to help me with this fur child over here and all the fur on this fur covered couch because it might not be fur covered any longer. Guys, welcome. Let's unbox this. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what it comes with. But let's have a look at the box first. It's actually large. So we've got ultra long lasting feather light design. I'm going to say it is actually not particularly heavy because of the size, but you know, whatever. Uh, extensive air filtration. I wonder what that means. And there is this thing here, extreme 150 AW suction. And I wonder why the sticker is there. What's underneath? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to check. I tried to peel it off before. Uh, we've got a carpet boost, it's automatic. Long life engineering. Now, I have a Dyson handheld. I never reviewed it because I think it's crap. Uh, it's pretty much suctionless nowadays. It's a couple of years old, sure. But the battery doesn't last very long. It's very flimsy. It's kind of falling apart. But it's lasted long enough to help in the kitchen quickly. On the other side, we have, what's it? Well, I guess what's inside? A vacuum body, a baton, carpet brush, motorized mini brush, a flex tube, dusting brush, crevice tool, charging station, and product manual and charger. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder how that's all gonna connect if you can wall mount it and hang it on the wall. And on the back, we have 90 minutes, ultra long lasting battery, apparently low po. Lipo battery design delivers 90 minutes of cleaning in eco and 10 minutes in max. Ooh, okay, so only 10 minutes on max. That's interesting. I mean, what do you need max for? Maybe a room? Can you vacuum your room in 10 minutes with one of these? Maybe. Featherlight design, 1.4 kilos, 3.1 pounds for those following us on the US or who else is using pounds? Huh. <laughs> um, we've got extreme hundred. You've got another sticker here. What does. I'm gonna check that out. I'll let you guys know in the full review. Again, we're just unboxing of extensive air filtration, uh, deeper carpet cleaning, engineering for endurance, and easy view section. Oh, it actually tells you how much time you have left on a battery. <gasps> wow, what a thing, right? And we've got a convenient power lock. Keep suction going without holding down the trigger so fingers can take a break. Hey, I like that. I really like that. All right, let's get unboxing. Let's move the camera in. Let's see what's inside the box. And let's talk about the quality of this because this is going to be compared to Dyson. It's going to be compared to Xiaomi. It's going to get compared to a few other places. Roborock, interestingly enough, has a partnership with Xiaomi to build their Robovax that you might have seen reviewed on this channel. And so I'm really interested because that Robovac was very good and it was built by these guys. So let's get started. Oh, that's, I mean, this is a pretty cool box, to be honest. What do we have here? The design of the, what's in the box, bit of instruction, and then we have the stuff. So let's start with the most important part, this, the tube, the bayonet. It's plasticky and it's a little bit flimsy, but the buttons seem all right. Um, it's light, that's good. Put that to the side. Uh, we've got a little box, probably from user guides. There we go. So that's all of you always useful. You never know, some vacuum cleaners are a bit more technical. We've got the little suction thing for small areas. And you can see here, it's got a little bit of exhaust there. So you don't sort of get stuck and wrecks the engine. It always lets a little bit of air through because uh, it's going into tight spaces. There might not be much air. And that's obviously got a button with mounting. We've got another one, a brush. This is cool, I like this. I like these things, a little bit of a scrub, scrubby dub dub, just as you go, also button mounted. And oh, this must be the wall mount and there's some screws with um, some plasterboard fittings. Don't use them, I always use my own, but yeah, it's just my thing. And we have a mount, so obviously these things, there we go, they all fit in here on the wall. That's cool. And obviously the actual unit will be here. And then I guess the charger will somehow fit in the top bit here. Let's put that to the side. Uh, we've got the head. Wow, that's small. That is tiny. Is this the actual head? Wow, that's really small. What's that, like 30 centimeters? No, t less than that. Oh, wow, that's small. And the head spins, it's got some electrical contacts here and also has the normal clip system in there. It's, it's, it's got a weight to it. Let's see how it goes. And then we've got this. What is, oh, 
That's cool. Okay. So instead of the bayonet, you can also extend it and go hand-to-hand -hand combat with everything. That's great. Okay, I like that. A lot of high-end handhelds don't have anything like this. Um, my wife used to work at Good Guys and they never did and they always said, oh, here's a tube. You can just sort of, you know, but that's good that you can have a little thing with you. Go into maybe your car, vacuum and just use this and you don't have to get the big vacuum out. I like this. Really cool. All right, let's lift this up. Oh, we've got more. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I am, I was wrong. Well, about one thing. This is the big head. That is just the small head. How cool is that? Jeez, okay, let's have a look at this head. Wow, it looks powerful. <laughs> it looks really cool. You know, it, it's hard, you know, engineering, there's a lot of engineering that goes into these devices. So let's, let's not stray from the fact that this is kind of cool. There you go, that's a big head. Big head. It's got a brush, a thin brush here in the center and very scrubby brush on the side here. That's interesting. So it's a bit of a boat, I mean on the side, the one's running through here and one's the other. So one's a bit softer, one's a bit more scrubbier. It's got two wheels at the front there, they look pretty solid and then two wheels on the back bit. Pretty smooth and then obviously a clip here and off you go, all right. So we've got a lot of attachments here so far. That's that's incredible. Uh, what is this? Okay, this is part of the actual, this must be part of the, oh, okay. This is actually the power mount. So that goes in here on top of this bit right here. So this one here obviously goes into here to mount onto the wall. But what I want to say about this, and this is something that bothered me about my Dyson one, is that these have contact clips here. The Dyson one has a pin that goes into the actual vacuum when you mount it on the wall, or actually anywhere where you don't, you don't want to charge it on this handle, where it sort of sits, and that has slipped lower and lower, and now it doesn't charge properly. So um, that's cool, let's put that to the side. And what else have we got here? This is the actual charger plug. Hey, good stuff, we've got an Australian one, so we're Australian market ready, that's cool. You can just swap it out if you need to, obviously they've got those bits covered, and we've got the plug there, so obviously that fits into this somehow. And then we have the actual unit. Wow, whoa, okay, all right. They said 1.3 kilos or whatever, but this must be all one kilo right there because it's heavy. I mean, hang on, comparable to everything else I've picked up, it's heavy, but look at that. That's really cool. So we've got a big, big battery right here on the side. I don't know how many milliamps, we'll get to that soon, hopefully. We've got the actual unit that stores the trash and rubbish and dust. You can peel that off. I don't know what that does, but I'll just peel that off. And Maximum's here. Oh, come on. There must be more room in there. Let me read this to you. Parting line. The pattern in the dust compartment and the floor attachment is the parting line formed by the production process. It's not a crack or a production error. Please feel free to use the vacuum normally. That's interesting. I wonder what that's meaning. Oh, this partition. Bit. It's not a crack. And we have here a button to release the bottom, like in most vacuums like this. And that's it, we can get in there, check the trash out. Ooh. There we go, we already have a little bit of battery there. You can see here. There we go, and we've got 45% on medium setting. Let me peel that off. There we go, that should be visible better. And let's have a look, how do I change this? So this is lock. There we go, no hands, it's going. Oh, this is maximum. There we go. And then we've got another ecosystem. Very, very light, medium, and full. On full, we had four minutes left. On medium, on 42% battery, we have 18 minutes and 19 seconds, and then fully on eco. Let's see how much 42% can get you. 35 minutes and 30 seconds, that's pretty cool. At the top, we have a twisty bit here for the filter. That looks like it, oh wow. This is a HEPA filter. That's really good, that is really good. Do I need to take this little sticker off? They probably, no, they shouldn't, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be like, oh, you need to go inside and get a sticker out. So I don't think you do. So let me put that back in. That's really good. I like the fact that it's a locking mechanism because at least it's sealed nicely. Okay, I'm impressed. There's the contacts for the charging. 
and there's a button to remove the whole cover there. Fantastic. Cool. All right, well, look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a review of this, see how it goes in dealing with my dog's fur with the house, and I'll let you guys know if it's actually any good. Friends, thank you very much for watching this unboxing. I think it's pretty cool. This is some really amazing engineering. I'm, I'm excited to use it. I mean, you know, I like to keep my house clean, and I think it'll be really interesting to see how this all works together. I mean, you would never use it like this, but that's interesting. <laughs> like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I look forward to reviewing this, and I will let everybody know in this video. Once it is reviewed, the link will be in the bottom. Thanks for watching, and bye! Ah!